gut-wrenching testimony in a Kalamazoo courtroom today. The woman accused of killing her five-month-old baby and severely wounding his identical twin was in court for her preliminary examination. In the end, the court ruled there is enough evidence to proceed with the case. That means Jennifer Moeller will stand trial for felony murder and child abuse charges. 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum joining us live from our Kalamazoo studio tonight to break it all down. Brady. Well, Brian and Sue, prosecution witnesses describe severe, cold-hearted abuse. We must warn you, some of these details may be difficult for some viewers to hear. I diagnosed him with uh, child physical abuse and abuse of head trauma. It was the same medical conclusion for both five-month-old twin brothers. The only difference was one survived his injuries while the other, Logan, didn't. The babies are struck hard enough in the head and their head will go through a whiplash-type motion. Prosecutors claim the twins' mother, Jennifer Moeller, struck Logan and his brother in the head with a hard eyeglass case. A detective testified Moeller admitted she was frustrated with the twins and intentionally dropped them on the floor and hit them in the head. It was Moeller's aunt who found the baby having a seizure cold and non-responsive. I still wasn't prepared for what I walked into that room. What did you see when you walked in? He, he was laying on a stretcher. Um, they were begging him for breath. Um, he, he wasn't moving. Did you ask her why she dropped the children? I don't, I don't recall specifically asking why she did that. Did she tell you a reason? It was to get the, the crime to stop. Dr. Elizabeth Douglas, a forensic pathologist, testified that Logan suffered injuries you normally see with high impact car crashes or intentionally inflicted trauma. Testimony also revealed that Muller had problems with her anger and that she was at her wits end with the twins. A day and a half or so before that, did the defendant say something to you that gave you some pause that you told the detective about? Yes. What did the defendant say to you? She said that sometimes she wondered what it would be like to have just one. Now a trial date has yet to be set. Reporting live in the Kalamazoo studio, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.